Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple toy race car. So, again, navigation, hold down the scroll wheel, we can orbit, hold down shift as well and we can pan, and then if we just roll the scroll wheel we can zoom in and out. Okay, for now we're going to keep this guy because he gives us uh, some scale to work with. I'm going to start with the body of the car, so I'm going to use the rectangle tool, I'm going to click, drag and drop, and I'm going to make this 50, 200, 50, 200 and tap enter. So it's just a small toy race car. Push pull and drag that up, we'll make that 50 as well. What we're going to do is we're going to make the basics of a car and then I'm going to show you how you can make some small tweaks and modifications to it afterwards. And then you can be a bit more creative. Alright, let's for now, let's turn that into a component. So select over the whole thing, right click, make component. And you can call it body. Alright. <clears throat> okay, while that's there... We'll come back to that in a minute, and we're going to make the, the wheels. To start the wheels, I am going to use the circle tool, and I'm going to hover over just here somewhere, and I'm going to make those wheels and give them a radius of 25. So 25 and enter. Push pull. I'm going to drag them out, and I'm going to make them fairly chunky, maybe 25 or 30. Making 25 thick, so they're quite chunky tyres. I'm going to use the offset tool, click and drag, and this will make like a little axis. And I'll do that at 20, 20, and enter. Then the axis needs to be the width of the car, so that's 50. So pull that out to 50, type in 50 and enter and then same again so offset tool click drag and that's 20 isn't it so reversing what we've already done push pull I'm going to grab that out to 25 it was wasn't it and this bit in the middle drag that out and then I'm going to just use the eraser tool to get rid of that yeah, that's all. All seems fine. So I'm going to leave that as it is for now again. Make that a component and we might add some modifications later on. Select over it, right click, make components. You can call it wheels. And let's get these into a sort of a rough position. Okay, you'll have to follow these instructions now. You could just place them, but I'm going to try and be a little bit more specific. Remember that these circles are actually polygons, and you can see there's a there's a corner there, so that's the halfway point. I'm going to grab that outermost point. You know it's the outermost point because it's where it touches the the this box that's around it. So I'm going to grab it there on that anchor point, and I'm going to match it up to this point here. And then you can see that they're nicely aligned. And I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to grab it from the other side and I'm going to tap control. Drag that along. Okay. Now I'm just going to, they're a bit too close to the edge. So I'm going to just drag these in by 15, in 15 and up 15. Press escape to let go of this selection, then this one, in 15, keep it on the axis, and up 15. Okay, And you can move these around later if you wish. So we've got the body and we've got the wheels. Okay, the next thing is we're going to make like a little cockpit here. So I need to edit, edit component. I'm going to draw a rectangle that's about 70 by 50. I'm going to type in 70, 50. And this is just to create some reference points, really. Do the same at the back. 70, 
50. Okay, it creates this shape in the middle. I'm going to use the two point arc, click on either side, and just drop that down. And again, it's probably about, I'm going to go with 15, but it really is up to you. And now we're going to use the push pull tool to get rid of that center bit. There we go. And we've created a little cockpit. Now later on, I'll show you how you can move this and kind of adjust the shape slightly. Okay. Okay, so you can see it's starting to come together. But we need to, I think we need to lower this sort of bonnet area. So I'm going to, again, right click and edit component rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle from the end there and make that about I don't know for now I'll just do 50 by 50 50 comma 50 enter and what I should be able to do now is use the move tool and select this edge and just drag that down keeping it on the axis and you know it's on the axis because the color of the dash line matches with the blue axis and I'll take that down to 30 30 and enter okay we'll make a little spoiler to go on the back um, and before we do that well the wheels are 25 by 25 so it should be about 100 the width here okay so we're going to match, the spoiler is going to match the width of the car, including the wheels. So rectangle tool, and we'll draw this separately and then put it in place. Rectangle tool, and we'll make it 100, 50. And we'll just drag that up by about 10. And we need to make that a component. So drag over, right click, make component. Um, is spoiler spelled like this? I don't know if it is actually. Okay. Right, we need to move that in position. So I'm going to use the anchor points to do that. Slide along, find that midpoint. There we go. Oh. Right. Zoom in a little bit because it's right near the rotation line. Okay, midpoint and spoiler. Drag that. Put it on the edge there and match the midpoints. And then we can just slide that forward by about 25, something like that. Or 30. There we go, 30. Okay. Okay, and that's that's the basics pretty much. I don't think we really need to add any more details to that. So if you can get to that stage, then that's brilliant. And you might just want to colour some of those parts in and you're all good to go. However, if you want to add some more detail, if you want to kind of tweak the design, we could add some sort of tyres and wheel rims. Uh, get these wheel trims on. And we could maybe add a front um, sort of spoiler or whatever it's called. We could add that on here as well. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to show you how you can start to move around some of these these parts. So we might want the cockpit to be a you know a little bit further back. If you want to do that, you can do. I'll show you how. We just enter the component, edit component, select the move move tool, and we can drag. Say, for example, we can drag this backwards. I would advise you to use specific measurements. So I've just done ten. We could have done fifteen, something like that. And then it's just a bit more accurate, easier to change back if, you, if you're not happy. We could maybe move this line here. Again, 15. Oh, 156. 15. And maybe we could grab that whole front there and just drag that out. 20. Okay. Drop that down maybe. A little bit further. Another 10. Okay. For the wheels, 
edit component, we could use the offset tool. And we can just drag that in, maybe by about five. Use the push pull to drag that in. And that, that only needs to be slight, about two millimeters. And if you want to do more with that, you can do, but I'll leave that up to you. We'll add this little kind of spoiler at the front as well. So I'll double click and I'm going to draw a rectangle just here, maybe 15 by 5, 15 comma 5, same on the other side, 15 comma 5, 15 comma 5, and I'll just drag that out. The width of, I think I'll just do it to the width of the wheels. So I'll hover over that, use that as a as a snapping point and if you wanted to have it come out at the front a little bit we can just use the line tool put a line across here and pull this out probably by about five mil and just zoom in a bit use the eraser tool just to get rid of those lines Okay, so we've added a little extra detail there. We just need to, I think now we just need to add some, add some color. So we will go to the materials over here. You need to go to browse if you're not already there. And again, I'm just gonna make this uh, a wooden body. I'll make the wheels I'll just make the wheels black, although I don't tend to use black because you don't see any shade when you use black. I tend to use like a dark grey and then you get some more shades in it. You compare that to black. I think grey looks a little bit better. And I don't know. Uh, a red spoiler. But any extra bits, if you want to add colour in, because these are a component, we'll need to um, edit those components in order to add some extra bits of colour on. So we might want to do blue. Oh, we need to do that side as well. We'll just look at it from this angle for now. And we can do the same to the body as well. If we want to add in some green, we can leave that, I think. And there it is, we've got our little simple toy race car. And obviously you can add extra detail on there. It's up to you. So be a bit creative and see what you come up with and enjoy. <laughs> 